All right, what is up? Welcome back to Syrup Recaps. And the Dallas Mavericks are now down 0-3 to the Boston Celtics. And in game three, they lose 99-106 in a key game that, you know, at this point, a, a key game that should have been a win, but it is what it is right now. Um, now they're down 0-3, for 3, and the history is definitely not on their side. Um, I think the record now for teams that have been down an 0-3 deficit are like 154-0, and 0, um, or 0 for 154. Um, so uh, let's just get to the um, this, the players. Uh, Kyrie and Luca, I think, did their best. Uh, Kyrie played 45 minutes. Um, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, Luca Doncic played 38 minutes. Um, Should have been more because uh, the last two minutes he got for the, he fouled out of the game uh, because on some call that was kind of close, kind of a bang bang uh, call by the referee. Uh, it should have been, you know, uh, I think you could argue for for both teams for the foul, but um, you know, I do think. I will get to that later. Uh, my opinion about it, I will get to that later in the video. Uh, but I'll, right now, we're going to focus on the points scored by the players. Uh, Derek Lively, only 11 points. Um, Josh Green had a big three to cut it to um, single digits while the Mavericks were cutting, you know, the the 20 point, the 21-point the point lead that the Celtics had at the beginning of the fourth quarter that they built up throughout the third quarter. Um, and I'll get to that later. Uh Tim Hardaway Jr., um, a complete no-show, uh, but also, I, I'll, I'm not going to give him too much flack because he hasn't really played in, um, since the second round, and Jason Kidd just throwing him out there makes no sense to me, especially in, like, key minutes. I get putting him out there, and I was, like, you know, really fighting for him to play in the first two videos, but that was because that was, like, in the first two games of the series, and I was, like, you know, and I didn't really elaborate how I wanted him to play him, but the way I wanted the Mavericks to play Tim Hardaway Jr. is maybe play him for like the non Luka and Kyrie minutes or non Luka or non Kyrie minutes. Um, I just wanted him to play a little bit because, you know, uh, Maxi Kluber has been a huge negative and I put that in my notes in all caps. Um, cause he's a, he, Maxi Kluber is a negative when he's on the floor. He is, he does not add anything, uh, positive for this team during these finals he has been a complete like no show um making terrible shots making terrible decisions um against defenders just complete i uh, just complete like i don't even know like a, like a complete disaster on the floor like a complete just like like it's disgraceful to the game of basketball to be honest with you the way he plays in these finals um the lack of Don <laughs> the lack of dante exum and Jaden hardy yeah, especially when Luca fouled out, I would have rather had either Luca or I would have when Luca fouled out in the last three minutes. I would have rather had Jaden Hardy or X in the game because because Maxi Cle I mean I'm Maxi Cleaver. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. gave you a whole lot of nothing, bro, a whole lot of nothing, and then you put him out there. In, in a key game, uh, I would have rather had Dante Exum out there to be honest with you because he had a crazy dunk in the three minutes he played on Tatum. A, a, a amazing highlight that I'm missing that didn't make Jason Kidd be like, oh, I should have played you or I should have played you more, especially when the team is struggling in the third quarter. And I'll get to that problem too. Uh, PJ Washington um, only had 13 points. Derek Jones Jr. didn't really play. He only played 16 minutes in the game, which is ridiculous, especially the way he's been playing throughout these playoffs, not giving him, him a chance, especially and putting Tim Hardaway Jr. In the minutes where Derrick Jones Jr. should be playing more is absolutely insane. But I'll, I'll I'll get to that. Obviously, I think the Celtics defense today the biggest um um the biggest focus was definitely on the role players to not get hot. Especially that's what I think the Celtics predicted that the Mavericks were definitely going to rely on the role players to really you know help Luca and Kyrie. And they and their game plan for today was to make Luca and Kyrie score more and just be full on scores instead of passers because that's what kind of what's been their you know bread and butter throughout these playoffs was definitely that um so uh the role players um the biggest issue with this game is that the mavericks kept it close throughout the whole game they they played a pretty good game for the first half like they were up at halftime it was not a big lead it was only one they were only um the dallas mavericks were only up by one in the game but they were up and then you could build off of that they um 
the my, my issue was like the they kept doing they kept doing the same things over and over again kind of like a no adjustments thing a big problem with jason kidd or wait maybe not jason kidd um funny enough the 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 previous mavericks coach and maybe jason kidd like two years ago but even the same issues the previous Mavericks coach had um, with uh, Rick Carlisle had the same issues where he kind of was like giving a Rick Carlisle s like Rick Carlisle s performance coaching wise uh, today. Jason Kidd not doing adjustments, especially when a team like the Celtics is a team you have to be prepared and you have to be adjust for uh, you have to make adjustments for and you have to be on your A game at all times and be willing to make a coaching adjustments and switching and stuff like that defensively and offensively just like on the fly just like like lightning speed adjustments because they will take advantage of your um of your kind of like mistakes and that will get to my next point um the celtics in the third quarter went on a crazy run that the, the mavericks didn't really um you know try to neutralize or stop defensively and that goes to my previous point about how bad defensively um and the adjustments is that defensively this team today was horrendous um they did not give any like did like did not give any like any celtics player any trouble today and that was the biggest problem today if they played a better defense i think they would obviously win this game because the def the lack of defensive adjustments and just bad defensive adjustments too by Jason Kidd. I think they started playing zone, which I don't even think they are really comfortable with that, especially with the type of team the Mavericks are and especially the way they've played this whole playoffs. I don't think they're really comfortable with playing zone. So I don't know why they were in a zone like defensive set throughout the third quarter and maybe some parts of the second quarter because honestly, this, this, this game could have been a pretty clean win for the Mavericks if they just adjusted better. And we're more focused on switches and stuff like that because they were not they were not locked in today defensively and that was i think that's what that's what's been killing them uh this entire series specifically this game too but even i think that was a problem in game two and game one uh, especially game one obviously they got blown out in that game um yeah tatum was great today uh 31 points jalen brown they had they were combined for 61 points uh yeah uh pretty much not really a team effort today. It was definitely the, the rest players showed up, and I think um, them not taking advantage of the other uh, the other players on the Celtics, like an Al Horford, Drew Holiday, and Derek White. Uh, maybe yeah, Derek White had a big game. Uh, he had 60, 60 points. I mean, I, I mean by like Al Horford and Drew Holiday, they were really uh, they were kind of like not as good as they were in the first two games. So I think they should have definitely locked in because you know the other players on the team weren't really as good as they were in previous games uh so uh the mavericks today uh the biggest issue uh i think was um obviously i'm going to mention the 21 point comeback i'll give credit where to do i do respect that they came back in this game and fought hard they really had a good comeback josh green had hit a three to cut the lead to the single um single digits uh in that run Derek lively gafford obviously luca and kyrie and um, P.J. Washington, especially P.J. Washington. He was finally hitting his shots. A player that I thought going into this game was going to have a, a huge game. I thought I had huge expectations for P.J. Washington today. I thought he was going to have a big game, especially. I don't think he had, you know, the best two games. And he's been really uh, consistent throughout these playoffs. And it's really disappointing to see him not uh, really be more aggressive in the first three quarters. He was aggressive in the fourth quarter, but we really needed that in the first three quarters. Like, especially in the third quarter when the Celtics outscored the Mavericks 35 to 19 um so yeah that was something that really bothered me uh today was the lack of um aggressiveness from PJ Washington offensively and I know the defense was tough but you know I think they were makeable shots for him today and he missed them and uh, that was a tough part I think that was for the issue with most of this team um they, they they've kind of like the Boston Celtics have neutralized the role players and I'll get to that point again and yeah neutralized even during the comeback, like, um, you know, I had a little bit of, I had a little, little bit of hope left in me, especially when they're making that comeback because they were going on a good run. And then the last two minutes, the referee comes in a foul where Jalen Brown clearly pushes Luka Doncic. Uh, it's, it is a close call because Luka wasn't fully set, but you can argue that it was a foul on Jalen Brown and it should have been an offensive foul and maybe 
Luca would still be in the game in the last two minutes and maybe we would get a win or a close game and maybe an overtime, you know, maybe some competitive game because it is the finals. Everyone's watching. Every basketball fan is watching. So you want it to be competitive. In a game like this, you would want to see a closer game, especially a a Mavericks team that came back from 21 points, a big fourth quarter com comeback when the Mavericks were looked like they were dead. It was like, I I thought I was ready, like preparing for this video, like when the Mavericks were down by 21 at the beginning of the fourth quarter, I, I was ready to make it because they, they look like, you know, completely gone. Um, definitely not the team we saw in the first three quarter, uh, first half um because all of that i felt like a lot of the juice was gone but you know they started um lucas of course started the run um it's funny that he uh was is the one that uh felt the biggest you know like he took the biggest l out of this whole game but i'll you know i'll get to that again um and and i think it's funny that well he started off the run and then um maxi cleaver no not maxi cleaver obviously not he's he's garbage um uh it was uh, then uh, Luca, and then Kyrie Follow, Josh Green, uh, those guys. Obviously, Gaffrey, P.J. Washington stepped up in this quarter. Great, great comeback though. I hope they bring this energy to Game Five, uh, Game Four. I mean, and Game Five too. Why not? We, they could force a Game Six. You know, just get give us more Finals basketball. I'm, I'm all for it. Uh, obviously, as a as a fan of the of Luka Doncic and the Mavericks, I would love to see more basketball. Um, sure. Um, can they make history? Probably. Uh, most likely not, but, you know, never say never, um, like what Justin Bieber said, so, yeah, and also, also, uh, I'll say this, I think that should have been a foul on Jalen Brown again, I'll say it again, Jalen should have been on Jalen Brown, because it's the finals, we want to see good basketball, I do not want to see Tim Hardaway Jr., uh, be the replacement for this dude, um, I rather see that it was like I I was doing the Mark Jackson meme, you know what happened to the game I love because it was ridiculous, bro. All right, um, I'll give the three stars for the Mavericks today was uh, obviously Kyrie Irving he stepped up especially a big improvement from the first two games. Luka Doncic was really good. Sucks he fouled out in the last two minutes, and I'm guessing I'll get a third start to PJ Washington because I do think he played pretty good in the fourth quarter it was definitely not there for the first three but he was there for the fourth and helped the mavericks cut it you know give it a close game make it competitive that was good i'll definitely give the jr smith award to xavier tillman because he hit a three his only point of the game was a three-pointer and uh yeah that was absolutely insane um when he hit the three i was like damn this series might be over but you know never say never uh so it is what it is so this is a big hill to climb up so but you have to have a little bit of optimism because you're already here um so might might as well make a little bit of a comeback all right i'm jalen and this has been syrup recaps